Greetings everybody, my name is Crims and I'm here today with the new F-Zero game which just came out on the Super Nintendo. I've heard a lot of great things about this game and hopefully it will be as good as uh, the critics say. Most likely it will not be. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Greetings everybody, my name is Crimson, and I'm here today with F-Zero on the Super Nintendo. And we're gonna be playing as uh, the Fire Stingray and we're gonna do this uh, on Master. Because that's what we are! Hope you're having a fantastic day because it's May 13th! We're gonna race like there's no tomorrow. This is classic. What you're watching right now, this is just pure classic. It's a mute city. And uh, it's going slow as fuck. <laughs> so I'm down in South Sweden right now. And um, I just moved down uh, yesterday. And I'm gonna stay here for about two weeks. And what the fuck, man? <laughs> for about two weeks and um, work on um, my song, Miss Begun, and I'm gonna make some commentary as well while I'm down here. And we're beginning with this game. And um, I'm actually doing this as uh, some kind of warm up. Uh, because before recording the vocals for the song, I thought, just warm up my voice with some commentary. Because I haven't uh, spoken uh, English in like half a month, kinda, so just gonna warm up like this. So yeah, I haven't made commentary in a while. <laughs> and we're gonna begin this series. I mean, this series is going to be um, a three-parter, one for each league. So we're doing the night league right now, and we're gonna do it on Master. Now, I was debating if we're gonna do this on, like, experts and play as different vehicles, or just go straight to Master and uh, try to beat all of the leagues. Now, if I don't beat it, then that's just how it is. But I want some uh, excitement, because I've... Shit! I've played this game ever since... I can't remember. I grew up with this game and I played it very, very much. And uh, I can beat uh, Master almost every time if I really concentrate. But uh, since I'm doing commentary at the same time, maybe I won't beat it. But that's just fun. And I can react to all the crazy shit that happens when you play a Master, like these guys and that suicide guy which just pops up at random and just stays on the road. Stand still. Now, um, I have, as you can imagine, a ton of nostalgia for this game. And you see that guy? He just stands there. And I named all of the vehicles of the friends I had at that time. So this car right here, I named him John. And uh, that suicide guy, which just stands in the road, he was called uh, Iola. Or Ola, as it's pronounced in English. There he is. There's the Ola. And then the purple guy you saw in the beginning, when you are in fifth place, kinda. Uh, I named him Dave. Oh fuck! Well, that actually worked out good. So that's the first race, Mute City! I haven't played this game in like... Two years? But the game is like burned into me, so... It's like... I can wait three years and I can still play it. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but that's just how it is. So here we are with... Big fucking blue! If you don't recognize this music, shame on you. It's so fucking good. Now, Nintendo has been teasing us so fucking much recently with the uh, F-Zero. They used two F-Zero tracks on uh, Mario Kart 8, and then um, they used F-Zero in... Um, fuck that. They used uh, the Blue Falcon vehicle and um, Captain Falcon's um, clothes for Mario Kart 8. And then on, uh, what was it, um, Nintendo Land, we had a, had a F-Zero type of a game. Which was amazing, I really liked it. It's uh, very challenging, it's fun, and the music is uh, from this game and uh, all that. And uh, then the new Super Smash Bros. A lot of F-Zero stuff, stuff there. So it's like, come on Nintendo, just make a new F-Zero for the Wii U. It would be perfect. You have the gamepad, you can utilize that in some cool way. For fuck's sake, man. Okay, that's good. So I really hope Nintendo makes something soon for F-Zero. Because it's been like 12 years since F-Zero GX. And that game is 
pretty much perfect. But now it would be nice with uh, some HD F0 in widescreen and holy fuck, it would be so good. Now, as you can see, uh, or I hope you can see it, but we're doing this in 50 FPS. We're playing this on the PAL version. And yeah, also, this is not emulator. This is, um, as I've said in my other series, in the Super Metroid series, that uh, uh, I'm playing on the same console, the same controller, and the same cartridge as when I grew up. So what we're playing on is as old as me, from 1992. And it's still working, as you can see. It's just gorgeous. I love it. And it feels so much better to do it like this than to do some emu emulator bullshit. I mean, this is the real deal. And I say this every single time for a series when I do this, but um, that's just what I feel. Most people won't even care, because you do get worse quality in some aspect. But do, if you do emulator, you get very crystal clear pixel quality. <laughs> but it's just not the same, man. And this is the way I like to do it. So yeah, uh, not doing it on emulator, uh, teasing F0, what else, uh, and I'm down in South Sweden, yes, working uh, on my song, visiting family, and uh, making some commentary in this gorgeous room. And also, we're back to the full classic Crimson right now, because I'm sitting here in this room where Crimson started, and uh, we are drinking uh, red wine, right here. Ooh. And we got an extra life. And it doesn't really miss a master because I'm just easing through this right now. But it's real hard in the beginning, but once you get to top speed, you're pretty much fine as long as you can hold it. Because Fire Stingray is the fastest vehicle in the game and everybody uses him for the world records and all that. But you see, his acceleration is god awful. Oh, no! And I'm gonna go so far back. You see, the top speed is really slowly growing up. And this uh, course has a lot of uh, turns. And from, I think, um, I remember is that uh, the best way to turn, to keep your momentum, is to do that. You hold the R, so you do that, um, you know, you scrape the ground, and then you just keep on pressing the acceleration button all the time and you keep your top speed much better than just uh, turning shit normally. Let's see, where are we gonna use the... Maybe right away, I think. We need, need, we need to get up. As, as you can see in the top left corner, there's a safe meter. And we need to be below that number at all times. I mean, when we pass the finish line. And for every lap, we need to be under the safe margin. If we're not, then we will fail. But as you can see, now we have the top speed. Not really, but we're close to the top speed. And we are just blazing through all these guys. So this is Sand Ocean, a classic stage. Well, all of them are classic, really. And I love Sand Ocean in F-Zero GX. The music is just fucking perfect and uh, everything. And this game has a weird, kind of weird music. I like the stage, it's so good. But this, with these, um, this first F-Zero game, it's always flat. There's no up and down. There's only, you know, left and right. And then when F-Zero X came out and F-Zero GX, it's like, holy fuck, we have loops and everything. So it's like, oh, they did it so good. That's how you do a sequel. But this game is just so fun to play. The gameplay in this game is pretty much perfect. There's nothing wrong with this game at all. And uh, it's in 60 FPS um, originally, but because this is Paul, uh, we're doing it in 50 FPS. So I hope you're watching this in 50, because I'm gonna put out with that. And I think you need the Google Chrome web browser to watch it in uh, 50, I mean, over 30 FPS. And it, uh, I think it's pretty much essential today, or always, it should always be essential to have more, to have around 60 FPS when uh, doing racing games. These old games, I mean, almost every Super Nintendo, if not every Super Nintendo game, had had 60 FPS originally and 50 in Paul. And now we have these games like Need for Speed Rivals, which is a very nice game. I love it. It's so fun to play. But it's in 30 FPS. 
racing games and FPS should be in 60 FPS. That's just how it is. It's, it's, you need those extra frame rates for that, uh, that awesome feeling. So, I really like that. That uh, these games have more frame rates. And, um, what was it? Um, F Zero GX on GameCube, and a lot of GameCube games used um, 30 FPS because they were going into this more advanced 3D graphics and all that. But F Zero GX, they made some um, sacrifices in order to be 60 FPS, and F Zero GX is 60. It's so fucking good. You should never, ever change that. And this fucking stage, Deathwind. Uh, yeah, as the name suggests, there is a death wind that just pulls you to the right all the time. Except, no, I think it's always to the east. Yeah, it's always to the east. And this stage, we have these boosters that takes you up to 999 speed, and it's just fucking great. Especially with this vehicle, when acceleration is so slow. Just touch those boost pads, and you will just BOOM! 999, and you just blaze through everything. Look at that. And then I use the boost right here and just boost over those dirt pads and just. Mm -hmm. So great. So this game started with the boost pads, but uh, later on in the series they became weaker, but they added so much more of them. And I like that. I like that they have so many boost pads. And even Mario Kart 8, uh, they have Mute City and Big Blue. They also use um, the boost pads from Mario Kart game. And it's so, it's so fucking great. I love it. And the healing station gives you coins instead. And I, I think that's a very cool touch and a cool mechanic. And then there was this uh, Link or Zelda stage. I think it's called um, Hillion Circuit. And in that stage, you have rupees instead of coins. It's so fucking good. So I'm gonna keep my boost now for emergencies. Fuck, that's not good. Yeah, that's okay. As you can see uh, to the left right here, it's uh, cut off. But later on in the other leagues, you will be able to go in there, or you're forced. It's an extra stage. And holy fuck, is it hard? Because this stage has so many boosts in that uh, place. And not only that, it's very. It's 90 degree turns. The wind is blowing. You have cars all over the place. I don't think I will beat that on Master. It's extremely hard and I need to concentrate. So for the King League, we're gonna go with uh, Experts. Because I want to show every stage. And if I don't if I don't pass the safe margin, we will not be able to go to the next stage. And here we are. We beat the Death Wind. And in this game, it's not about getting, you know, the best points overall. It's just to pass the stages, basically, from what I remember. Oh, silence. I like, I like the stage. It's the only one in the game that looks like this. And the music is so good. Man, the nostalgia is just brimming over. And this stage features um, quite a bunch of uh, 90 degree turns. Not right now, but see, right here is one, and then here, and yes, so on. Now the rest of the stage is basically just these 90 degree turns. But it's okay, the music is so awesome. Oh fuck! And this stage is not good for uh, this car, because, yeah, the acceleration. So maybe we'll not beat this, but at least this is the final stage of this uh, league. So if I don't beat it, then uh, that's kind of okay. Need some health. Fuck! I should uh, save the boosts uh, for um, these turns coming up over here. Okay, at least we're sticking around and at first place. Yeah. But this, I hate this turn. Oh, it's so hard to do it without touching the black, uh, yeah, the black sides. Now, one time I played this game like uh, three years ago. I got a very, very weird glitch, which I've only, only seen once uh, in my lifetime, and only twice on the internet. Only me and another guy has gotten that glitch. And I have a video on it, on my Crimson Crap channel. So if you search on F-Zero Insane Glitch, 
or maybe crimson or something like that. Fuck! And then maybe you can find it. And just look at that glitch. You see these sides? The whole game was basically just the sides. And that allowed me to go through, you know, the boundaries. I can just go in, in a circle around the finish line and I finish the stages in like... like 20 seconds. It's so weird and it only happened once and it was on the console. So no emulator glitch or anything like that. It's just the game is old, the code's fucked up and boom. <laughs> oh shit, this is not good. I'm gonna use the boost here. Oh yeah, you can save up to three boosts as you can see down there. And that's also our extra lives. Oh shit, can we use it again? We're on the final lap. Save the boost for the finish line. We're at the end. And we will be done with the night league. Oh shit! Oh no, he's going to pass me, right? Yeah, he is. All right, no worries, we got this. Fuck, fuck. Okay, let's go, go! Faster! Just press the button as hard as you can. Okay, boom! And we did it. We got first place on all of the tracks on the Night League on Masterclass. And now we got a special... Uh, yeah, ending. And this song right here is in Mario Kart 8, when you finish one of the F-Zero stages. Man, this game is kick-ass. It just feels so fluid and so responsive with the controls and everything. So I'm just gonna make sure that we are recording everything. Let's see. Yeah, it's looking good. And right now we have been recording for... Oh shit, I can't see it anymore. Oh no! Where is it? Uh, display information panel. There it is! We have been recording for 27,000 frames! Now I never say that anymore, but um, before when I did commentary in this room, I um, always said that in some places, like, yeah, we've been recording for X amount of um, frames. You see back there, there's like extra tracks, but you can never ever go there, and they're never used in another stage. So I have always wondered, what's over there? There are tracks. It's like testing grounds? I don't get it. Oh yeah. Since we beat Masterclass, we get this. The race is over. Overhead view. That's so cool. You are an F-Zero master, boy! Well, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> no, thank you for playing us. Goodbye. Thank you, Alex. Goodbye. From Captain Falcon! Oh my god! Fucking Captain Falcon gave me a goodbye. And the F-Zero crew, which no longer exists. Well, thank you. But I'm not done yet. And that's that. So, in the next episode, we're gonna do the Queen League. And in the final, we're gonna do the King League. And that's the hardest. It's so fucking difficult. And it has my favorite stage, the Firefield. The music in that stage. My goodness, you will see it. But I will thank you all very, very much for watching this <coughs> first part of uh, this uh, three-part F-Zero series. Yeah, I will see you in the next one. Take care, good folks. Goodbye.